Some of the most fundamental questions in cosmology that puzzle us, and they are related to a mysterious phenomenon called dark energy, are, what is the fate of the universe? Will it keep expanding forever, or will it eventually collapse into a singularity? And what is driving this expansion in the first place? Dark energy is the name given to the unknown force that is causing the universe to accelerate its expansion. It is one of the biggest mysteries in science, as we don't know what it is, where it comes from, or how it affects the future of the universe. In fact, we don't even know if it is constant or variable over time. But today, let me tell you that there is hope. A recent study by the Dark Energy Survey, or DES, has measured the properties of dark energy in unprecedented detail, using multiple techniques and data from hundreds of millions of astronomical objects. The study is part of a larger effort to understand the nature and origin of dark energy and to test the validity of the standard model of cosmology, known as the Lambda CDM model. In this video, we will explore the results of this study and what they mean for the fate of the universe. We will also explain how the DES measured the properties of dark energy and what are some of the alternative scenarios for the future of the universe. This video will answer the question, how is dark energy ripping the universe apart and how can we measure it? The Dark Energy Survey, or DES, is an international collaboration of scientists and institutions that aims to measure the properties of dark energy and test the Lambda CDM model. It started in 2013 and ended in 2019, covering 5,000 square degrees of the southern sky and collecting data on about 691 million astronomical objects, such as galaxies, stars, and supernovae. The DES used multiple techniques to measure the properties of dark energy, such as galaxy clustering, weak gravitational lensing, and supernovae. Let's see what each of these techniques means and how they relate to dark energy. Galaxy clustering is the study of how galaxies are distributed in space and how they move relative to each other. By measuring the distances and velocities of galaxies, we can infer how the universe has expanded over time and how the gravity of matter has affected this expansion. So here, dark energy affects galaxy clustering by changing the rate of expansion and the growth of structures in the universe. Weak gravitational lensing is the phenomenon of light bending due to the gravity of massive objects, such as galaxies or clusters of galaxies. By observing how the shapes and orientations of distant galaxies are distorted by the foreground mass, we can measure the distribution of matter in the universe and how it evolves over time. So, dark energy affects weak gravitational lensing by changing the geometry of the universe and the amount of matter in it. Supernovae are the explosive deaths of massive stars that can be seen across the universe. By measuring the brightness and redshift of supernovae, we can determine how far away they are and how fast they are moving away from us. This allows us to measure the expansion history of the universe and how it has changed over time. Here, dark energy affects supernovae by accelerating the expansion and making them appear dimmer and redder than expected. Each of these techniques has its own advantages and challenges, and they complement each other by providing different perspectives on the same phenomenon. By combining the results of these techniques, the DES was able to measure the properties of dark energy with unprecedented precision and consistency. The results of the DES study are remarkable, as they support the standard model of cosmology, known as the Lambda CDM model, with high confidence and accuracy. This model is the simplest and most widely accepted model that describes the evolution and composition of the universe. It is based on two main assumptions, that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic, meaning that it looks the same in all directions and locations, and that the universe is governed by general relativity, the theory of gravity proposed by Albert Einstein. The model has six parameters that describe the properties and behavior of the universe, such as the density of matter, the density of dark energy, the age of the universe, and the amplitude of the initial fluctuations that gave rise to the large-scale structure of the universe. It also predicts how these parameters affect the observable features of the universe, 
such as the cosmic microwave background radiation, the large-scale distribution of galaxies, and the expansion history of the universe. The results of the DES study are consistent with the predictions of the Lambda CDM model within the uncertainties of the measurements. This means that the model is able to explain the data from the DES and other experiments with high accuracy and precision. This also means that the properties of dark energy are consistent with those of a cosmological constant, which is a constant energy density that does not change over time. This constant was first introduced by Einstein in his equations of general relativity as a way to balance the gravity of matter and keep the universe static. Later, he abandoned the idea, calling it his biggest blunder, when he learned that the universe was actually expanding. However, the discovery of the accelerated expansion of the universe in 1998 revived the idea of a cosmological constant as a possible explanation for the dark energy that drives this acceleration. The results of the study also rule out some of the alternative models of cosmology that propose different explanations for dark energy, such as modified gravity theories, quintessence models, or phantom energy models. These models predict that dark energy is not constant, but variable over time and space, and that it can have different effects on the expansion and structure of the universe. However, the data from the DES and other experiments do not support these predictions and favor the simpler and more elegant Lambda CDM model. Yes, the results of this study are impressive, but they are not the final word on the mystery of dark energy. There are still many questions and uncertainties that remain unanswered and unresolved, such as, what is the origin and nature of dark energy? Why does it have the value that it has? How does it relate to the other components of the universe, such as matter and radiation? And most importantly, what will be the fate of the universe? Depending on the nature of dark energy, the future of the universe can have different scenarios, ranging from the mundane to the catastrophic. If dark energy is indeed a cosmological constant, as the Lambda CDM model suggests, then the universe will continue to expand at an accelerating rate, becoming colder, darker, and emptier over time. This is known as the Big Freeze scenario, where the universe will eventually reach a state of maximum entropy and thermal equilibrium, where no life or structure can exist. However, if dark energy is not a cosmological constant, but a dynamical entity that can change over time, then the future of the universe can be very different. For example, if dark energy becomes stronger over time, it can overcome the gravity of matter and radiation and rip apart the universe at all scales, from galaxies to atoms. This is known as the Big Rip scenario, where the universe will end in a singularity of infinite density and zero size. On the other hand, if dark energy becomes weaker over time, it can reverse the expansion of the universe and cause it to contract at an accelerating rate. This is known as the Big Crunch scenario, where the universe will collapse into a singularity of infinite density and zero size, similar to the Big Bang in reverse. Of course, these are just some of the possible scenarios, and there are many other variations and possibilities that could happen, depending on the nature and behavior of dark energy. The only way to find out the true fate of the universe is to continue to observe and measure the properties of dark energy and to test and refine the models of cosmology that describe it. This is the goal of the DES and other experiments, such as the Euclid mission, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, and the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope that will provide more data and insights on the dark energy mystery in the near future. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting about the dark energy mystery. Thank you for watching, and please share your thoughts and questions in the comments. We would love to hear from you.